Hi, thanks for joining us. Welcome to the very first episode of Sailing Rome. My name's Jerry. And I'm Sean. I'm uh, gonna tell you a little bit about us briefly. Uh, I'm still employed, still working. I have a day job, I'm a technologist, and um, here we are getting started in our first video. I'm a newly retired operating room nurse, and uh, we'll give you more of our background in future episodes. But for now, we have some really exciting news to share. We bought a She's sailboat. Our, she's ours, she's ours, she's ours. She's oh ours. Oh my God. We have spent uh, the last nine or so months either selling, donating, throwing away, or giving away pretty much everything we own. That includes cars, land, clothes, yeah. the business, and our previous boat. We sold that, we didn't try we it. We sold a lot of stuff. Um, in preparation for moving aboard our beautiful new, new to us, new to us, blue water sailing catamaran. So we'll get into a bunch more detail on that in uh, future episodes. We'll give you some shorts on our background to give you our origin story because everybody likes origin stories. Ours is pretty fun and, and pretty ridiculous like most people. Um, yeah. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll give you a little tour of the boat and uh, tell you what we've got here. I want to give you a little bit of a preliminary before we get into the actual tour. The previous owners yeah. literally left like three hours three ago. hours ago. They were moving back to France from the boat here in Guatemala. And um, let me try and paint you a picture. When we sold our last boat, we had the luxury of moving off, taking everything out, detailing it from top to bottom, staging it, and when the new owners took possession, the only thing that was on it was some spares and some cleaning supplies. And that was it. Yeah, we, we could do that because we, we lived where the boat was and we moved off to do it. And we planned it. This is, this is a little bit different where they, they hadn't really planned on selling and we, maybe we convinced them. <laughs> and um, everything happened very quickly and getting everything back to France is a lot more complicated than taking it off the boat and putting it in storage in Seattle. So they actually left here with like 10 pieces of luggage, some really big, big bags. Luggage. And sending anything from Guatemala to, well basically anywhere, is astronomically expensive. Yeah. Consequently, we really don't know what we're going to find when we go inside. And, I'm and, anticipating and, food and clothes and linens yeah. and God we, ha we, we, we haven't opened anything yet. This is it. <laughs> no. This is our first look. You're going to get the first look with us and then uh, we'll do more first look deeper when we start uh, emptying the boat out uh, in the next episode. But, but this is really just, it's a tour with what we got. And, um, and they did, you know, they've done a lot and they've lived aboard for a while. So this is, you know, this is, this is not a pristine brand new yacht that's staged at a boat show. This is, this is real life. And I, I think a lot of sailing channels, people talk about, oh, you're, you know, you just see the, the beauty. It's, you know, it's beaches and booze and sunsets. And, and some channels show you more of the, the dirt and the real. And we're going to start right out with, the, this is real. I don't know if it's dirt or not, but it's real. And, and this is what we have. And this is what you're going to see. So come take a walk with us while we get our very first look to see what we're, what we're actually getting. So this is our new boat. Uh, she's a 2013 Naughty Tech 542. She's 53 feet long, 28 feet wide, and everything that we ever wanted in uh, a cruising yacht. Um, we've got a sail wardrobe, there's a spinnaker, janiker, Genoa, and a mainsail, and we'll get into sail wardrobe a lot more as we go and decide what we really need, um, because you know, maybe we need something else, maybe we need something more, maybe there's a Code Zero in our future, or maybe there's a parasailer, or both, who knows. Uh, we'll go through that. On the boat right now, there there's certainly some things that we need to replace. So so right out of the gate, um, we have trampolines that are gonna need to be done. I'm taking a big risk walking out on this one. There's a big hole in it already. We've got new tramps downstairs, we'll replace those. Um, but look at the seating area up here. I mean, seriously, you and 15 of your best friends can hang out up here and uh, enjoy the view, watch the dolphins and, uh, and cruise with us. The coach roof on this boat is, is vast. It's like a ballroom. Um, but it, all, it has some great features. It has uh, built-in uh, rain catchment and it's deep. Look at this gutter, it's as deep as my hand. I get all, all my fingers all the way straight down there. And there's already some lick and stick solar on the roof. We're gonna, we're gonna scrape that right off and replace it with some hard panels uh, probably before we leave Guatemala. Uh, but right now it's a great place to start and uh, we're pretty stoked to, to have the space to work with. 
All right, at the stern of this boat, uh, we have helms on both sides. We'll show you both of them. Um, and like most big cats, uh, it is a twin screw with inboard and sail drive. We'll duck into the engine room here and see what we have down here. It might be interesting. So the engine room is actually pretty big. Um, we've got a, uh, a Yanmar uh, 75 in here on each side. And this one also has a big generator. Uh, a big, is that an Onan generator? No, it's Kohler generator on this one. Um, your steering quadrants back here. Autopilot's on the other side. But you can see, you know, I'm standing down here moving around and uh, I can duck back here. You can also see there's not a lot of light in here. That'll be something else that, uh, that gets changed pretty quick style as we, uh, we get some light going in here. But you can see there's enough room for me to get down here with the engine and do what needs to be done. And uh, yeah, should work out all right. So you can see the engine room is uh, chest deep for me. Uh, not a bad size. I think there's enough room to get in here and do what needs to be done. So Raymarine Electronics, it'll last us for a while. Uh, dual engine controls on each helm so we can operate the engines from either side. And enough room for Jerry and I to sit here together and, and snuggle on the long passage. This cockpit um, is party size, seriously. This table, look at this. I can sit here and I think I can easily get, I don't know, seven or eight of my best friends around the table with me in the cockpit. And then we still have more seating over here for you know cocktails hanging out. This is um, plenty of room. This transom seat, lots of room in the transom seat, and uh, we've got a, uh, a little hammock up here for some vegetables and fruit for, for big crossings. Um, and then storage, under everything, there's storage, massive storage everywhere. Um, also, this appears to be where we ha haul out, hang out clothes to dry when uh, we've done laundry. Oh, we've also got a sunroof, this huge sunroof, which isn't open right now, but this it, it's huge. The transom on this boat's a little bit unique. Uh, not a lot of sailing cats have this, where you've got a transom seat, and a walkway behind it where we can store all manner of stuff. It's gonna be really handy. On the port helm, it's uh, much the same as the starboard helm. The one thing I'll point out right away is uh, the Yanmar controls over here to start stop the engine and, and monitor those. They are pretty rough, pretty hard to read, so we'll probably be working on those a little bit. Also gonna point out, as you can see, the sun is right over me and there's no shade on this helm. Uh, one of the projects that we've already identified is getting some shade bimini's over these helms. So we'll talk more about that as we go. Swim steps on this boat are, uh, are vast. There's plenty of room here to suit up and go in scuba diving, which we're really looking forward to. Uh, this boat already has an extra ladder. You can see the mountains for it under my feet here. So it makes it a little easier to get back on and off. But it's a big swim step, super comfortable both sides. Ready to go inside? I sure am. Let's check this out. Remember I said that the previous owners could not possibly take everything with them and so we were going to walk into whatever we walk into? Come on in. There's some stuff. These surfaces like this and this are what we affectionately call crap catchers. We will try very hard in the future to avoid catching too much crap. But one of my favorite spots is this little seating area. I can see hanging out here quite a bit. We've been told by authoritative sources that that's the best place to hang out and lounge uh, on a crossing when you're not at, on watch. I can see that, although it's a little bit short. So we'll see. Maybe yes, maybe no. Remains looks, to be seen. Looks pretty good though. All right, so into the salon where we, I should mention that we have giant hatch in the floor which comes up with like suction cuppy things. I have no idea how to operate them but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, salon table and settee and if you can't get a really good look at this table let me tell you that I could easily have dinner with a full formal dinner with probably eight or ten of my closest friends. Hint hint you can come visit we have space. All right, um, there is storage underneath every seat and all the mechanical stuff I know lives behind those cushions. So mountains of storage in here. Welcome to the galley. I'm so excited about this. There is more prep space and workspace in here than I had in the previous boat by like four times. 
massive surface over here. We've got a microwave oven, um, refriger primary refrigerator, um, sink. It has an opening here. It's actually a double-sided sink, but it's you know covered in some stuff, so I'm not gonna open that right now. We also have a three burner stove and an oven. I could bake something in there, I'm sure of it. These are all propane. The locker for it is in the cockpit. And when we have the opportunity, we are planning to change that out for induction. And I'm also really excited about that. Lots of storage spaces here. We've got drawers and cabinets and pullouts. That's not a storage space. That's a dishwasher. <laughs> Um, although I'm pretty sure that the previous owners used it for storage because there's stuff in here rather than dishes and there are only two people. So that's a fairly good sized dishwasher for only two people. Um, we may replace it with something smaller. Um, we'll see. I don't know. That, I guess that's one of those remains to be seen kind of items. But in the meantime, I'm so excited about this galley! <laughs> Like every great cruising catamaran, um, this boat has a forward-facing nav station, and it is plenty big. Look at this, this beast. You know, it's got plenty of room for me to get in here, equipment. Christoph and Sabine, the former owners, left us what was left of their um, American courtesy flag. Not much left of this one. We've got fresh flags for the boat. Uh, since we are going to flag her in the U.S., uh, we'll have um, well, fresh flags. Uh, but this space, uh, we've got some storage under here, um, as well as lots of space for... Uh, nav equipment, radios, everything else we need, and space to work. There's also some storage here on the side of the nav station, which um, I'm not going to reach in there because I think it might pull me in. It, it, it's deeper than my own. So a uh, good spot for something. We'll figure it out. Okay. Follow me. Let's go check out the starboard hull. We're going to go start at the bow and work our way back. This is the four peak in the starboard hull. It has this is supposed to be a bunk, I think, if um, if like if you have crew or something. But it looks like they were using it for tool storage because I've got all of these boxes, which appear to be tools. Same here. Um, all right, coming out of the four peak, we are in one of the guest berths, queen size berth, I think. Fortunately, it has sheets. Just wash those because it's all custom. We've got storage here storage there there are two little cubbies for whoever our guests are to put their cell phones and charge them okay leaving the forward starboard stateroom we're gonna head to the first head okay this is exciting freshwater electric head sweet sink storage nothing in there that's cool and a really big shower well reasonably big shower nice and high Cut. reasonable elbow room i like it want to go check out the companionway with me leaving the head in the companionway we've got all kinds of storage we've got some hanging lockers with some stuff in it and the best thing ever a washing machine? I'm so excited. It'll be my first boat with a washing machine. And next to that, there is refrigerator. Avocados and beer. Sweet. That's guacamole and snacks for us. Awesome. Let's continue to move to the stern and see what else is there. Moving towards the stern, we have a mountain of storage. We've got hanging locker, hanging locker, hanging locker, drawers all the way to the bottom. So that's exciting. And on the opposite side, head number two. Exactly the same as head one. Woohoo! <laughs> same electric flush toilet, same size shower, plenty of space, and storage in the mirrors and underneath the sink. So I think we will have more than enough storage for all of our bathroom stuff. This is the starboard aft stateroom two twin bunks and I am pretty confident that this room has never ever been used and it's practically staged the way it was when it left the factory. Let's have a look at the porthole and see how it's different than the starboard hole. We're in the port forepeak and uh, the forepeak on this boat is storage on both sides. The other side had what looked like a bunk uh, in the middle 
and this one is wide open with a couple of bilges under it that we can uh, use for more storage. There's lots of space in here to store. I'm absolutely blown away at how much room we have. This is the port bow um, behind the four peak. And on the starboard side, we have a stateroom with a head and clearly a bunk. In this space, we have a half bunk and an office with a desk and some more storage. Um, there's also uh, a half head. So there's, there's um, a, a toilet and sink on the side, but you can see this space is not a typical stateroom. So we've got room to work down here, space to uh, edit or for me to do my job or, or whatever we need to do in here, as well as a place for somebody to sleep if, uh, if we have an extra body on board. In the porthole uh, right next to the office, we have another head. And this head, unlike the heads on the starboard hull, are pretty small. Um, just a toilet, just a sink, mirror, storage, um, but no shower behind me. This is, this is it right here. Moving backward from the office head area into the companionway, we have more storage. And in this one, looks like we've got some uh, pantry for the galley. The other side looks like hanging lockers, a couple drawers. But again, more storage as we go and more storage yet more pantry, more, more hanging locker, more drawers, and it continues. And then the masterpieces, two giant deep freezes. And uh, I wonder if they left anything in here for us. Yeah, these have got all kinds of stuff, including what looks like a bunch of lobster. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Continuing aft in the porthole, uh, after the freezers, we have a couple more lockers. These look like, yeah, they're flat lockers for storing uh, whatever uh, sheets, linens, towels, that sort of thing, more drawers. And yet again, a couple more <laughs> big lockers. This boat has so much storage and this is a huge hanging locker. I think Jerry, you could get in there completely and you'd be fine. And a couple drawers on that side. And now we're back into the master cabin. In the master stateroom, uh, we have another head and you can't really see it, but these, these walls are curved. The doors are rounded to make the space just a little bigger inside. And this one is just like the other side where we've got the uh, freshwater electric flush head, a uh, nice sink, more storage and mirrors and another nice size shower back here. So in the master berth, there is plenty of room. Uh, it's a custom queen size bed like the other, um, but you can see I'm six foot one. Um, I'm not tiny a shoulder. And I can, I can reach, but I'm not cramped in here at all. This is going to be a really nice space, and uh, I look forward to getting in here. We're so excited. Oh my god, <laughs> this is such a crazy day for us. Uh, I mean, anytime somebody gets a new boat, it's exciting. And it's, I mean, it's an emotional roller coaster getting here. We'll talk about all of that. But this boat is such an amazing platform for all of our adventures and, and the next adventure to, well, no, no, no the not yet. The next adventure, <laughs> the next adventure. The next adventure is going to be taking everything off the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're going to empty everything out, um, get it cleaned up, and figure out exactly what we have. And, and that'll, be, that'll be the next video. You can see uh, all the stuff that comes out of the lockers, and, and maybe, maybe we'll find out that the previous owners were smugglers, and they have some interesting stuff in the lockers. Ooh, that would surprise be, me. It would, it would <laughs> that me would be too. cool though. It would me too. But we know that there's going to be things that we're going to sell or donate to make room for the things that we need for our lifestyle. We're going to buy things, we're going to upgrade things. Some of the upgrades will be sooner, some of them will be later. But we'll, we'll show you all of it as it happens. Um, if there's anything that you saw that made you curious and you want us to specifically take a deeper look at, Drop us a comment down below and we will make sure we touch on that in an upcoming video. Yep. So yeah, so that's it. Thank you for joining us today. If you liked what you saw or you think we could get better and, and you want to see us get better, like and subscribe. Um, subscribe to the video, help us get some numbers. This is our first video. We, we know we have a long way to go, but if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, like and subscribe and uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know, uh, let us know what you thought. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.